I made a working addition machine in Robot64 using falling objects. Uh, if we take a look here, all I'm using in, in this machine here, if you look at that beautiful machine, is going to be these falling crayons. And let me give you a little demonstration for how this machine works. This machine is binary, so it has two, one of two states. It has a left and a right state, so a one or a zero. And I can change the state of this using called a latch. And by this crayon falling down here, as you can see, it'll fall down and it'll move it to the right. I'll have another, I have another slope here to change it to the left. So anytime I want to change the state of the machine, I can by that. But changing the state means I also have to read that state. And that's done with a different slope out here. And if that moves through, it will either go through it. Oh, that happened at the same time. Uh, let me change. Let me. That also, that's one of the drawbacks. These can't happen at the same time. Um, so it goes through it. Or if it's on the other side, it will get stopped and fall down, as we can see in the bigger design right here. So bigger design, I can. So what the state it's in right now is in, is in the false state, which is the black. And if I set it to true. This will go down, go through, it goes down. That will be recycled. And then I can check that state using this side here. And that will make it go down. So it'll make it go down this chute right here. So that's the true chute. And in case it was not obvious enough, if you just if it was during the false state, uh, it will just go through and it will go down this chute. So that's the false path. And just by changing the direction of the crayon, I can make a whole logic diagram with this. And again, just to prove again, these can go back and forth uh, between each other. And to even to reset these uh, at the bottom of the world, uh, if I can get there, at the bottom of the world is called a void trigger. And say I had an item, it's actually going to show up really badly, but uh, let me get a different grant actually real quick. Let me get this crayon. Let's say I had a this uh, void trigger at the bottom of the world. I'll show you exactly where it is after it works. You can see it pops up back here when it reaches the end. And this is a D. Kevin mechanic. And so I this is not this is original. This is you can find this and you can actually see I have a visual display of what it looks like. Um, it looks like actually yeah I have to be down there. Let me go in the machine. You can see it's a it's a yellow hitbox. You can kind of see it right there. That's what it is. Uh, you normally can't see this, but it's normally there in uh, vanilla Rela 64. And how the machine works, so I have to manipulate these moving crayons, is I have them falling down different shoots. So to go from uh, to go from hor to go from vertical to to horizontal, I use one of these. To go from to align it inside the tube, so this is a one by three. If it's one by, if it's a four stud shoot, then this can be horizontal, and that's no good. So I always have to make them three minimum, three maximum. I mean, and but I can even align them inside here, so this moves it to the middle. So this moves it like half a stud to the left and right, because this is half a stud offset. And while this type of slope can move it, uh, as you can see, can move it to the right two studs. So always, it, this is two studs wide, so kind of moving it trying to be two studs is kind of the perfect it's actually 1.8 but you get the picture and to go from horizontal to vertical you just do this you make it go drop down a couple of studs and this is a vertical to horizontal back back to vertical back to horizontal and then I align it uh, here's kind of the contraptions side profile and if I run this uh, you can kind of see how it works again it just moves back and forth that hits there that also can go forward if that was in a different position. And here's the kind of the scale model of what I'm working with, as you saw up there. These are have some more moving platforms. These have more of the contraption, have the sh all the shoots. Um, and then here is a kind of a mock-up of like the inputs, outputs. So these are inputs. And this is the checking crayons or power crayons because they're yellow because power. So white is true, black is false, white is one, black is zero. And we'll see that even up here. So this is where you would spawn. Uh, you spawn here, and you have these are the outputs. So this is uh, one's place, two's place, four's place. So it's like binary addition. 
And if it's an, uh, it's all in black right now, as you can see with the red crayon indicator, uh, that means it's all zeros. So if I set it to all true, uh, actually, yeah, I'll set it to all true. It, it takes a while for it to run, and I will show you how it runs right here. So if I go to the top, we can kind of follow one of these crayons going down. So it goes down the true shoot. Uh, it can get stuck, but if, as, long, as long as there's a second crayon, it'll go down. And here we go. Goes down, goes down, check, gets a new bit of information. And it'll go down, it'll change this to be true. And so now this output's false. Uh, because uh, we did three plus three, which is six, and there's no ones in the six, uh, and so but this sets to true because that it has to be carried out to the to the twos, and so then we can check the two power line here goes down, goes through here. This should be set to true, so it goes down. Yep. This will set the first uh, carry of the threes place to true which is perfect. And the next one uh, is also set to true because as you saw there, so we should see at the end of the line after it's all processed, and you'll see this right here turn right there, and that's gonna be set to true. So that's false, true, true, so that's six. Four plus two is six. Um, and this works even mid running. So if I wanna say minus two, uh, it can update that. And it won't affect any other bits. It'll only affect uh, the twos. So eventually we'll see, uh, it takes, a, again, it takes a while for it to run, but again, we should see at the end of the, at the end of the line here, it just, it just work. It can get stuck. The machine very often is the case. It can get stuck and, and it does break, but the shorter it runs for it, the more likely it's not going to break. So, uh, -huh. Let's just, we're waiting on the twos to come to, actually, I think that's what the twos right there. It just broke here. I can show, I can show that in full. Uh, yeah, they just broke right here. That should have been the false line for the twos. They just broke. That's fine. Uh, so normally it sometimes breaks. I really can't do everything to stop the breakages from occurring, but, uh, you can test it, the game yourself and see how often it breaks and just reset if it ever does. Uh, so yeah, I made working logic using falling objects and gravity in Bravo 64, which I think is quite an impressive achievement. And that's it. Uh, if you want a bigger video about how, like how I made this and like how, how the logic works, uh, comment down below or I don't know, just tell me if you want it, want that video. All right. See ya.